In case you have ever worked with workflow automation tools like Mac.com, you most likely know that it is amazing to start scenarios or workflows directly within a no-code platform. But usually it is not used to get a response from the specific scenario because what most people get is just some random data, including an HTTP code of 200, which basically just tells you that this specific scenario ran. But what if I tell you now that you can actually get a response from your scenario within Mac.com? All of that is possible natively, so you don't need to have anything specific. And to explain it and demonstrate it to you, I'm going to show it within a voice flow example, where I basically want to use a voice flow chatbot to create a user and get the user ID back from within a make.com scenario. To get started, we simply head into a voice flow chatbot. And as you can see, mine looks like that. Yours probably looks different, but you will definitely have an API element available like I have here. And once clicking on it, you can see that I'm basically using a webhook from make.com, which is from this specific scenario. So all I'm going to do is I run it for now, which does nothing because it literally just has a webhook, but it should be able to accept some information. And that's what I would like to show you. So as a, in the body, we are sending over an email, which in this case is literally just a placeholder with a variable and when I send the request button and I'm actually entering something let's say demo email at demo.test and I generate it you will see that make.com gives me back the standard response including the status code and the headers so there's no specific information about the flow whatsoever so in case I created a user here it would have been lost so it would not be there to overcome that issue we can actually do a little trick that make.com also mentions but it's not that prominent which I don't understand why but you can use the same webhooks element as an action to give a response back once a specific scenario ran so in our example let's say we want to actually return a user ID when a user was created so we basically assume within this scenario we created a user we added some specific modules here and now we want to send that user information back so what we do is we add a webhooks element with a webhooks response as the very very last module so you basically have everything in between here and we also send the status response 200 and within the body we can now actually send information back which is very interesting because what we are going to do is we use a JSON construct to do that if you don't know about JSON I have a tutorial available on that as well on my channel so feel free to check it out and otherwise we just head into it I'm just quickly creating a demo JSON that basically just returns a user ID which looks in that case like that and we would say it's one two three four so this little JSON construct basically contains a user ID one two three four and now to actually make sure the response will be interpreted as a JSON we click on the advanced settings and we add a custom header which we call content dash type and as a value application slash json once i press ok we are basically ready to go so now in case i'm going to send this specific request again you will see that it's not only the status code but it is also the user id which doesn't seem like because the scenario is off <laughs> so of course i have to run it and now we try the exact same thing again and bam here you can see it user id was sent back as well which means we literally made it work to actually send information back from make.com to our chatbot now we can incorporate that into the response so we have the key user id so we copy that and i'm going to the api request widget or element and I click on the plus on capture response, enter the key user ID and I select a variable I would like to assign it to. The user ID here is a default variable that VoiceFlow uses for their specific user ID so I don't want to use it which means I created a custom one here it's called custom user ID and I'm going to assign it to this one. So this will just work perfectly. I'm going to demonstrate it to you. So all we are going to do is literally just display the user ID within this variable and I'm going to run this chatbot to show you. So we are basically, we have to start the scenario again, again to just test it. We want to create a user. Now we basically run whatever we want to do within our IPI request. And as you can see, it returns that specific variable. I have been too fast again. So I'm just gonna show it again. So pressing run, run test, create the user, the workflow scenario runs, and as you can see, it returns that specific user ID that we got back from the scenario. And this is literally the whole magic behind the thing to actually return a response within make.com. I also didn't know that for years, so now I'm very happy that I do because it saves me a lot of time with finding workarounds. Anyways, you will find all of those templates for this specific example, available on our resource hub, which is available under hub.integraticus.com. It is completely free, so simply sign up there, get your account. You have access to all the templates and all the files and blueprints, whatever we did before. So it's definitely a tremendous value there you want to check out in case you are very interested in learning about AI automation. That's it for now. If you have any further questions, feel free to drop me a comment below. And otherwise, I'm looking forward to see you in the next one.